A live look at Clearwater Beach. Man, it is a beautiful day. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is here with us. And Bobby, when we look at that, I mean, gosh, the weather just perfect. It's, it really is. And lower humidity, comfortable, but still warm and sunny. You can head out in the water. The water temperature is about 77 degrees, but I need to start talking, yeah, about rainy season. We're almost there. And this morning, if you were up early, it was absolutely gorgeous. Humidity is low today. Soak it up. It starts to rise as early as late tomorrow, certainly over the weekend. And we're right around the corner with that rainy season pattern. Live out right side, outside right now, Mahaffey Theater. Uh, great looking day there, too, to be honest with you. And look at this planner. I mean, it's fantastic. We're going to the mid 80s, some upper 80s as well. It's going to be a warm day. Tomorrow is actually a warm day as well, too. In fact, we'll be close to 90 degrees. But as I mentioned, we're going to start talking about the rainy season. So we're getting warm. You know that, right? Upper 70s to low 80s now. The daytime highs this afternoon will be in the upper 80s. Generally, you want to be in the upper 80s to low 90s for that rainy season pattern. Officially, it goes from May 25th through October 10th, but those are just dates that the local National Weather Service office threw out, saying on average, this is when we tend to see it. So the Mother Nature obviously rules when we're going to see it. Well, what are we looking for? Basically, a Bermuda high sets up. It's a high pressure out over the Atlantic, and when it gets in a certain position, it gives us these east to southeast winds. That gives us warm air. That gives us humidity as well. We're also looking for water temps of 82 or higher. It's at 77 now, so it's a little bit low. Uh, dew points in the 70s, not quite. They are going to get higher next week. They're going to be close to that. And then the moisture in the atmosphere, what we call precipitable water, that needs to be about 1.7 inches or higher. Dew points in the low 60s, but look at 48 in Lakeland, 48 in Brooksville. That's why it felt so good out there this morning. Tomorrow morning we'll do the same, but look what happens as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, you're going to start feeling it. You're going to be wishing all that stuff you have to do outside or in the garage. You're going to wish you had done it already. Now, dew points will come up. Dry air still around, the brown that you see here. Notice the moisture trying to build over the weekend. We could actually get an isolated shower each afternoon on Saturday and Sunday. There's still enough dry air around. This is through Thursday of next week that it kind of mixes in. The true moisture that we would need is down here. But bottom line, we're getting close. Next week's going to be a little bit of a transition from the dry season towards the rainy season. I don't think we get fully into it, but it's going to start to feel more like it. All right, let's go over the weather wall finally. And let's get that forecast going for you. Right now, we've got clear skies out there. We should keep those throughout the afternoon. No big weather going on, except there's more rain and snow in Southern California. That's probably one of the last ones for them. Uh, low 80s, as I showed you here for most areas. Eastern Hillsboro, still some upper 70s on the map, but we're going upper 80s for daytime highs today. Dry today, dry tomorrow. Want to take you out to Saturday afternoon. This is around 3.30. Notice a couple showers and storms popping up, especially over on the East Coast. And then watch as we go through the evening hours. Some of those start to come back. Most areas won't get rain on Saturday, but that's starting to look a little bit like a rainy season pattern. So it's coming, and that's why I say soak up this nice weather we have out there for today. Here's your forecast for the rest of the afternoon, mid to upper 80s out there. It's going to be a really nice looking forecast for tonight. Boating forecast shows those water temperatures still in the 70s. Overnight lows, get up early tomorrow, enjoy it. it we're talking 50s and 60s. Next week, these numbers, the low temps to start out in the morning, will be in the low 70s. So it's going to get on the muggy side. There's your seven day forecast and look at those temps all next week as well too. up near 90 degrees and just started adding a 20% chance for a shower by Sunday and we'll keep that each afternoon next week. All right, guys, don't forget you can get our forecast on the radio. You can hear it at 105.5 The Dove, 107.3 The Eagle, 106.9 WSRQ and Magic 94.9.